All right, in this video, we are going to install Python. And the main target of this session is to write Hello World using Python. Now, this task you can approach in two ways. Number one, you can do all of this on your computer. And this is going to be the main way. If you want to use Python normally, you want it to be installed on your computer. Now, that being said, you can also run Python online. And for that, you don't have to install anything. If you just want to have a quick look at Python and check if you like it, I would recommend to just run Python online for now. And then if you decide that you do like it, you can install it properly. So let's start with some websites that let you run Python code. There are quite a few actually. Here, for example, we have one website called programmist.com and this one lets you run Python code online. Besides that, you could also use other languages like C, C++, JavaScript, and quite a few more. But in our case, I want to get rid of all the code in here and to print anything in Python. Remember, we want to write the word hello world. And to print this, you have to do a couple of things. First of all, you have to put this entire phrase into quotation marks. Could either be single or double quotation marks. And for now, just follow along. I will explain all of this in much more detail later on. But now that you have this word, it should be green. And what you have to do now is write print and then put the quotation mark phrase inside of brackets, which means we first of all have the word print, then we have a bracket, then we have hello world in quotation marks, and then we have a closing bracket. And if you have all of this, you can click on run and now you get hello world. If you could follow along so far, you have written your first Python code. And if you don't want to install anything on your computer or register for anything, this website here would be really, really good. So this is definitely something I would recommend. You can also make it a bit larger. That's a bit easier to read. Besides that, there is also a website called REPL.it or REPLIT. I'm never sure how to pronounce it. In here, you also have an online editor that you can use for Python. Here, we already have print hello world. If I run this, we get hello world. For this one, to use it properly, you do have to register, although it is a bit more powerful. But both of these are really good to get started using Python. Although keep in mind, you are running all of this in a browser, which is somewhat limiting. What you ultimately want to do is run Python on your own computer. That way you have significantly more power and you also have more flexibility. So this is what we want to do. Now for that, we have to install Python on your computer. And the important thing to understand here is that Python is just another program that you have to install on your computer. It's working basically like Word or Excel or literally any video game. And the file you have to install, you get from python.org. So let's have a look at this one. Here we have the Python website. And what you have to do is click on downloads. And in here, you want to download Python and then the latest version. Right now, this is 3.10.5. By the time you are watching this, there's probably a higher number, but that isn't going to make much of a difference. So click on download and then you get the file downloaded. And this is going to work with your specific operating system. In my case, I have Windows, but if you have a Mac, this would also work, although you would get a slightly different file. And once you have that, you click on open file. And now you get either install now or customize installation. However, before you do anything in here, there is one incredibly important thing. And that you can see down here, it says add Python 3.10 to path. This is an incredibly important option that you absolutely have to tick. This one you really want to add. I will explain later why this is important, but do keep in mind, this is incredibly important. If you don't add this, you are going to run into a ton of problems. But besides that, you can leave everything as it is and then click on install now. Then you get an installation. And this one is going to work like literally any other program. So just wait until it finishes and you should be good to go. There we go. The setup was successful. Now you can close it and nothing changed. However, now what you can do if you press the Windows key, you can type Python 
and you have Python 3.10 installed on your computer. If you run this, you get something like this. In here, you can write whatever you want. For example, what you could be writing is what we have already seen. You can write print, then in quotation marks, hello world, close the bracket, and now if you press enter, you get hello world. And this was done using Python. In here, you could also write something like one plus two, you would get the result, and you can do quite a bit more. But this is basically valid Python. So with that, we have basic Python code. Although the limitation here is that we can only ever write a single line of code, which, well, isn't great. What we need is some kind of code editor, and that we are going to cover in the next video because this is a slightly larger section. And just to make sure that everybody can follow, here I have macOS. In there, I still have to click on download Python, and now I'm downloading a PKG file. Other than that, I can click on open file, and now we are getting a Python installer. That messed with my window, sorry about that. But in here, you click on continue, you click on continue, continue more, you click on agree, and then you click on install. Now you need your password, as always, install software, and then you're just installing anything. For macOS, you don't have to worry about a path. And now you can see all of my programs, and I have Python 3.10. Although, just wait a second, and there we go. Now the entire thing finished. I can click on close and move this thing to the bin, and now I have Python installed. Now, to actually use it on macOS, I need my launcher, and you have a program called Python Launcher. Although this one does look a bit weird. In here, you can't do very much. Although you have a tick box that says run in terminal window, or at least I hope you do. A terminal is another program inside of macOS. If you open the launcher again and type terminal, there you have a terminal. And let me increase the font size here a bit so this is easier to read. Now, what you want to do in here is you want to type Python 3 and then press enter. And now you can write Python code. For example, you could write print, brackets open, then quotation mark, hello world, and then closing quotation mark, closing bracket, and now if you print this, you get hello world. And like we have done on Windows, you could type one plus two and you're getting three. And this is valid Python code. But once again, you're only writing a single line of code. But for that, again, we're going to work on a code editor.